thousands of dollars in Legos stolen from a Mount Juliet Walmart this past weekend. And police say the thieves even assaulted an employee on their way out of the store before leading police on a chase. Now, all three suspects were arrested and now booked into the Wilson County Jail. As News 2's Kendall Ashman reports, Lego theft is an ongoing trend we're seeing across the country. When it comes to crime in Mount Juliet. Shoplifting is our number one crime driver in Mount Juliet. It's the highest numbers when you look at our crime stats and we're constantly working at keeping that down. According to Mount Juliet Police, in 2023, there were 72 reports of shoplifting cases from April to September. In 2024, that number rose to 118. Most shoplifters do run. Uh, and, you know, we end up in a pursuit in that we have to weigh those options whether to continue or not. And that's what happened on Sunday after three shoplifters got away with over $2,000 of merchandise. Police were able to stop the driver after deploying spike strips on I-40. And then once, you know, they're looking in the vehicle, it's loaded up with Lego. It's a trend we're seeing here at home and across the country. Just over a year ago, Franklin Police shared this video of suspects allegedly stealing $1,500 in Lego sets. Shoplifters know it's a high ticket item, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna go steal it and then try to sell it. So it is a, a hot commodity, Lego is for, for shoplifters. All three suspects were booked into the Wilson County Jail, while Lego sets from Disney, Transformers to Harry Potter were recovered in the trunk. There's some very expensive sets and some stores sell collector item type sets, which then sell out and people then try to sell them for a higher profit. In Mount Juliet, Kendall Ashman, News 2.